The problem is that you have is that if you say construction, and you will find this is good, because it does mean oh, it's a guy with a hoard of bricks and cement. So, and so I'm, so not would account, it, I'm would still that that, totally so, out of so date. So we use infrastructure to kind but of But in the end, <laughs> if the image is wrong, the only people that can put that right yes. yep. are people like you in the business. So. I, I totally agree with that. I just, um, it's, it's interesting when you talk to youngsters about why they don't stay in the industry and the reasons behind it or why they never came into it in the first place. So you'll go into a school and you'll, they'll look at all these amazing pictures and they're fantastic and they want to come and join. And then they'll look at the terms, the conditions, the hours, and they'll get an offer from a bank. And the, the Gen Z or whatever we call the youngsters these days, they want to live near home. They want to be out with their friends at five o'clock at night. You know, that, that's what they want. And we as an industry have got to change how we um, portray the industry because that, you can still do that in our industry. Unfortunately, we don't necessarily give them the sort of the, the tools that they're after to, to encourage them in the first place. And, you know, they're fantastic gamers, these, these young kids. And yet, as an industry, we definitely need that sort of skill set in gaming mm. in, in all of the new innovation that we're bringing in. But we don't go out and say, you know, you could come and do that for us. And it could be a nine to five job. And therefore, they don't know what's around. Our image, as I said, is just not quite there yet.